YouTubers were with me, and I wanted to talk about the Bradley Beal trade. I'm a little bit late to this topic, but um, I'm still going to make the video anyway because I know some of you guys watch these videos, and I think it was two years ago. I'll try and put up the, vid the video on screen if I remember. Um, I mean, I know I remember the, the video that I made because I made a video like either last season or before that where I was talking about whether or not the Wizards should trade Bradley Beal. And I think I remember saying that I would like to see him go to a competitor, and technically he did go to a competitor in the Suns, but a big complaint that I've seen a lot of people say um, about this trade is that now the Suns have no depth. But, I mean, let's be honest, you have three, maybe four technically. You could put Aiden in the all-star category if he put his game together, but you basically have three all-stars on the same roster and we've seen that with, like, the Warriors and, shit, the Cavs. Back in the LeBron-Kyrie days, it was literally LeBron-Kyrie, kind of Kevin Love, and then nothing. So who's to say that the Suns team doesn't do the same thing? I mean, obviously, if they were to go up against the Nuggets, the defending champions, I don't think they would beat them. I think it would still – it would probably be the Nuggets that would win in six games, maybe very, very – strong maybe seven if Bradley Beal and all the other guys are healthy because that's another thing you're going to deal with I don't I'm not too sure if Bradley Beal has been injured but I'm pretty sure he's had some issues in the past I'm I would imagine but I mean you also got to think about the fact that you have three to four max contracts on the roster so they're literally not going to be able to get anybody who's good if not good at all to fill out the rest of their roster so it's pretty much going to be I would imagine I mean, if you can get a decent one or two role players on top of the team you have and then either trade Aiden for something good or keep him and maybe somehow uh, Frank Vogel can get him to fucking lock in. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. Uh, as some of you guys might know, you may not, but I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, so I have a partial connection to all of the Phoenix, Arizona teams. So all of the Phoenix teams and some of the Arizona area teams – I have like a partial connection to I'm I'm a slight Cardinals fan and I don't mind the Suns. I don't want to seem like a bandwagon fan. I'm a Warriors fan, but it's going <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see how the season uh, goes with uh, the Suns because there is going to be a lot of pressure on them to succeed and not only succeed but succeed at a high level. I don't think that they're championship contender quality, but they're definitely like a top 4 seed if they can keep the players healthy and play well, then they have a good chance at, you know, coming out as a top four team. Maybe even, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do too much stretching because I might do a prediction video at the beginning of the season. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the Bradley Beal trade. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.